Shad Ali, who assured that the films are very different, said the sports star's life itself has been so eventful that he had to wade through the drama to get to his course or my poster comparisons with the popular hockey film Chakta. India are odious but inevitable for Sorma, a biopic on the life of hockey legend Sandeep Singh. Director Shad Ali, who assures that the films are very different, says the sports star's life itself has been so eventful that he had to wade through the drama to get to his core. There really is no common ground between Chakta and Sorma except hockey. But Chakta focused on the coach. So in that sense, Rima Kagdi's forthcoming gold about India's first team to win a gold medal at the Olympics is more likely to be compared with Chakta, Shad said. He had no intentions of doing a film on Singh. When Chitrang De Singh, who produces Sorma, came to me, we were thinking of something entirely different on the lines of a small-town drama like my film Bunti Aur Babli. When Chitrang De suggested we do this, Sorma, I wasn't sure. But then when I dug into his life, I was amazed at how dramatic it was. Sandeep's life is so eventful that it feels like fiction. I had to wade through the drama to get to the core of the man. To get the story of Singh, Shad spent considerable quality time with him and his family. I spent close to four months with Sandeep and his family in his hometown Shahabad in Haryana, as well as in Delhi and Mumbai. For me, it wasn't enough to just go through paperwork and files and archival material on him. I had to observe and absorb his life firsthand. This is the only way to make a film on a life as inspirational as Sandeep Singh's, Sorma has been made with the active cooperation and support of Singh and his family. He opened up his life for me, gave me access to his family and friends. Sorma couldn't have been made without Sandeep Singh's participation. It's important to take the subject of a biopic into confidence, Singh is happy with what Shad has achieved in the film. He gave me the freedom to tell his story my way. He had that trust in me, actor Diljit Dosanjh was the first and only choice to play Singh. We needed a Sikh actor. And who better than Diljit? He has given so much of himself to, Sorma, I can't imagine anyone else playing Sandeep Singh. Of course, it's not imperative for a Sikh to play a Sikh. Far an actor did such a fine job of playing Milka Singh in Reiki Shmeras, Bog Milka Bog, Shad's last few films have not worked at the box office. Neither has he been very prolific in his career. I don't know why Jum Barabar Jum in 2008 didn't work. We shifted the original story from India to a foreign country. I had enough of the small town ambience in Satya and Bunti Aur Babli. I wanted to break free of my small town image. With Kill Dill, I knew something had gone wrong. The balance was missing. There was a huge gap between my second film Jump Air Bar Jump and my third film Kill Dill. That was not laziness. It was just an absence of a script I wanted to shoot. Also, I spent a good three to four years assisting my mentor Mani Ratnam on his film Robin, the abiding reverence for Mani Ratnam won't go away. Shad's last film OK Janu was a remake of Ratnan's Tamil film. In fact, I again took a break from my own filmmaking to assist Mani Sir on his current new Tamil film. My equation with him cannot change, catch up on all the latest entertainment news and gossip here. Also download the new midday Android and iOS apps to get latest updates. This story has been sourced from a third-party syndicated feed, agencies. Except for the change in headline, the story has been provided, as is, as available, without any verification or editing from our side. Midday accepts no responsibility or liability for its dependability, trustworthiness, reliability and data of the text. Midday management slash mid-day.com reserves the sole right to alter, delete or remove without notice the content in its absolute discretion for any reason whatsoever.